No one chasing me today? Right? Okay. Alright. Oh, she won't talk to me. Well. Not getting follow up there. You might be marked as a secret. Oh, there you go. A little suspicious when you can hear footsteps behind the walls. Ah. Legendary soul. Ah, dark spirit. Lighting arrow. Not JJC. MVP. Few female knights who served in the age of the gods and using this miracle for dragon slaying. Uh, draw lightning. I hear him. He's on the elevator. Ah, crap. Draw lightning bow to fire a lightning arrow. The lightning arrows offer a great improvement to the range of spears and were said to have been used to pierce the eyes of dragons from afar. But remember, beautiful stories are always marked by embellishment. A lightning arrow. That probably looks really cool. You'll never find me here. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> I am inconspicuous. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's like, what the fuck world am I in? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, here he comes. Hello. <laughs> Whoa! That's a cliff. Bye! Yeah! <laughs> and off the cliff he goes. The cliff I almost rolled directly off of. <laughs> uh, that's one way to get the lightning arrow, I guess. Ah, that's what's going on here. You tricked me! I was like, oh, they're praying to this one, I'll hit this one. And then nothing happened. But look at all these signs over here. Oh, you sneaky. Oh, you sneaky. What's over here? Oh, cool. A concerning ladder. There is an item back there. I'm a little worried. Let's just double check the jump button real quick. That's not it. Right, okay, it's mapped a stick in this game. There we go. Oh, another one. I believe I have two of those now? Yep. Yeah, ever since they remapped the, uh, controls once. The longest time it was it was run, then double tap run. Which was a flawed system. But then they remapped it to other stuff in other games. And then also remapped it back and went back and forth. And then before long I'm like, oh crap, now every time I try to, to run and jump, I'm like second guessing it. So I have to like pre-test. <laughs> That's a very dangerous mistake to uh, misremember. Hi. Antiquated plain garb, violet wrappings. Nope, not this time. Dragon required ahead. Dragon ahead, therefore let there be lightning. Oh, because dragons are weak to lightning. I don't really have lightning skills though, do I? Try head, try lightning. I only really have lightning options. I'm just not that type of character this time around. Unfortunately. Man, my Dark Souls 2 character, the blind one, would be all set. Oh, that's a fall. It's one of those ones where you fall into the boss fight. Alright. You just gotta rip off the band-aid. Ah! Oh my god, that looks awesome! <laughs> 
I will be doing that every single time. Oh, so much ripping off the band-aid. It doesn't wake up when you first get here. Alright, it's a watery area. Ew, bones. Weird. I'm not sure what's weirder. The fact that there's uh, an ocean of bones down there or the fact that they're moving with the water. <laughs> That's the weird part, right? That they're all flowing down there. They appear to be bones. Like a mix of bones and maggots almost. Oh, hey, I can see the line between different pieces of the texture over there. Not, sp not supposed to look that closely. Yeah, why do the bones move? Weird. Are there dangers out here? It looks like it's all floor, right? I assume it's a I assume it's a continuous floor all the way out to that outer ring out there, and that the uh, the depths of water here and there are just just spots that where it's not all land. This is cool looking. Also, holy crap! It's like an almost infinitely continuous cave in every direction. I'd be terrified about this entire place having like sinkhole problems where it collapses under the fact that this. Apparently has a hollow cave underneath it all. Night in the woods. So you look like you're healthy. Is this where he landed? There's no hole though. How'd he land here? He must have come he must have like just dragged himself over here. Do you wake up as I approach or do I have to hit you or talk to you? Okay. Answered question. Hit. Okay, miss. I think try head was good advice. Where are you going, Durgan? Hey, Durgany friend. Please don't bite me. That's, that's probably a bite. Yep. <laughs> Headshot. Yo, uh -oh. that's never that's never good. It's never good. Okay. Oh, my health bar. I need my health bear. Okay. No, no. No, no, no. I want to heal. Please. I'm gonna go under you real quick. Oh, that's not good. That's like never good. Oh, he, never mind. He dashed away. I, th I thought he like went into the sky like ancient dragon, and that's the bane of my existence. Oh, here it comes. Oh, here it comes. Ha! Oh, that's a bad one. That's a bad call. Are you healing, or did I not do that much damage? I really thought I did more than that already. Oh. Okay. Friendo. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Alright. Avoiding fire is hard in Dark Souls games. Ha <laughs> ha. Dang it. Cut his tail off for a weapon. You dashing me? You dashing? You not dashing? He's not dashing. Oh no. Uh, uh. Okay, he still does that. Ah! Goodbye, health bar. It's nice knowing you. Ah! Right, that's that one. Uh oh. I need to get, like, in him real quick. Ow. Yep. Yet, 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 ow. Headshots are working out so far. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, that's, here comes that one. And then it turns into like a beam, right? No, not this time. Okie dokie. Ha ha ha. No, no. Oh, the results, they be mixed. Okay. I'm not ready for the fire like half the time. Honestly. You dashing? You dashing? You go. Line attack. Okay. Ah! You have a lot of attacks. 
like slightly different attacks. Ha, 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 ha. I got your foot. Minor, minor damage. Okay. Roll. Roll. <laughs> All these ineffectual attempts to try to hit something that just don't pan out. Like something's got to be within sword reach. Hit that part. Ow. That's bad. All right. Eh, halfway there is not bad for the first run, I think. I've done worse. Ha! Oh. oh, that's a bad. He's gonna explode. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> that's like double bad news, right? Because, like, A, he does a super explosion I gotta worry about that's gonna just kill me. Also, I'm not embered now. But B, I bet you that's phase two where he gets hard. Because that wasn't so bad. I could... I could adjust to that. Now I'm turned around. Where do I want to go from here? Kia. The sparks are great. If this was Dark Souls 2, though, that might destroy your weapon. <laughs> This, this game seems to calculate damage differently. I think there's, I think there have been definitely Souls games in the past where the number of like frames your sword spends inside of a wall was basically how much damage it took, and that would have been bad news for me. Hi there, headshot. No. I just want to hit you in the face. Is that too much to ask for? Ha, ha, ha. Uh. That was a bad time to be out of stamina. Because there was not to be done about it. No, don't kick. Oh, dummy. Uh-oh. Here comes the bite. Good. God damn it. You're like, I'm not even near to close to being under him. And then he's like, I don't care. You're under me now. I mean, you're, you think you're under him and not in tail range. But then he's like, this became tail range yesterday. Ha ha. District change. Uh-oh. And then surprisingly, when you're in, when you think you're in tail range, you don't get hit by the tail because the tail moves so much during the actual attack. Ah, crap! He doesn't like me being under him, and his tail's very hard to hit, so it's not a great source of damage. All things considered. Ow! Okay, he doesn't do that very often, so I don't really know how to dodge it yet. Wow, I've not I've not done any damage to him. Why don't I just give up now? Ah, crap! He's doing that again. He transitioned so smoothly into that attack, man. Oh, he's doing it again. Kind of. The other variation of it. Whoop! Nope, that was a bad roll. Well, I did some damage. Ha ha ha! Uh ha! -huh. What are you doing right now? Which way is forward? Okay. Cool. I can get with that. There's such clear moments sometimes of like, which way is he facing? <laughs> Headshot. Yeah. Oh no, fire. No, just stop. Ah, wow, I did two in a row. I, somehow I'm like really good at kicking on accident, but I'm really bad at doing it ever on purpose. I think it's because I'm not locked on, so I'm trying to manually aim my attacks. Which is just leading to a lot of that. Running to the side, I guess. Does that work? The answer is yes. Good. Yep. Yep. Oh, that wasn't in... I thought it was in his body enough, damn it. What's he doing? Ah, oh, crap. I just can't tell what he's up to half the time when I'm under him. But in front of him is way, le way less safe. Torso attack. Ah! I'm gonna go to your legs now, if you don't mind. Hitting legs. Ow. Bad dodge. I'm gonna flask right to your face. How do you feel about that? Oh, crap. Ah! 
<laughs> what? I didn't get hit by that, but I hit him. I just attacked his tail during that attack. I didn't even know that was a possibility. Man, I'm doing badly right now. Hey there. What you gonna do this time? Pu Aw. I just wanna boop the snoot. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm in attack animation. No. Ah. Uh, it's so hard to hit him. It's just so hard to hit him. That's easily the toughest part is that I, I can't land hits. It's so hard to land hits in this fight. Oh no, I'm in an attack animation. I'm just running from attacks the entire time, not hitting them. Oh, that's a tail. God damn it. Ah, oh, damn it. I just want to hit you with attacks. Is that okay? Can you just be okay with that? Oh, we're doing this again. Damn it, his tail moves so much. It doesn't seem like it does, but it does. Yep, there we go. Uh-oh. Okay, progress has been made at least. Where are you going? Running to the right, left. Ha ha ha. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh no. Oh no. That's the bad. That was a bad mistake. Got, got greedy with the headshots. Here comes the strikes. Yep. Huh. 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 Come on. The hitbox porn on this guy. Okay. No. Where are you going? Just attacking blindly over there, I guess? He don't need to see enemies to hit him. He'll just hit everything. He'll find them. He's using the Osiris strategy, really. What are you doing right now? No! No! I lost track of where I was. No! I was doing good for a bit. Uh-oh. He's not doing the magic so far. I'm down to one flask. Time to be careful. I say as I hit his head. Dangerously. Dangerously, 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 dangerously. Roll! No. Huh? Uh-oh. 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 Ah-ha! Uh -oh. uh -oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. This is a. Oh no! Oh no no! Oh. Oh great. So now I feel like I'm learning the fight. Like I feel like I'm in the territory where I could take him down, but then. That magic attack just shows up, <laughs> just, just to ruin what I feel like is a good plan. I'm like, oh, wow, well, I've learned this guy. This isn't so tough. Then he's like, yeah, here's a billion homing missiles that just come from everywhere, and you can't even fit them all on the screen, and they're all attacking you at the same time, and they will kill you if you don't dodge all of them. <laughs> and I'm just sitting here like, I don't, what? <laughs> just throwing that in the last second, huh? It's at number 762. Not even close. I don't think I've even put in an hour an hour in yet. <laughs> hey, buddy, fire's bad. <laughs> I spent so much time flailing vaguely in his direction and hitting nothing. I'm like, come on, something, just hit something. Yeah, like that. That is the smallest amount of health that 300 damage has ever done. Percentage-wise, I mean. Uh oh. He is rearing up. He is rearing and ready to go. 
giant dirk and use his churro whip. Whip. Hi there. In the face. Oh, that's didn't I did not mean to do that at all. Crap. At some point I just developed this bad habit of kicking for no reason during Dark Souls games. I don't know why I do it all the time, but I just kick the air. I'm like, no, I'm not trying to kick. And it'll often come in moments where I'm trying to, like, roll or something. I'm like, no, I've initiated a kick again. Okay. No. He's trying to nom. He wants to nom. I don't want him to nom. I'm just gonna be totally honest with you. In the face! Aha! Uh-oh. Yeah. And he's raring to ready to go. Hey there. Oh, doing it again. It always feels weird when he does it twice in a row, because I'm like, what is he trying to do? I don't know what he's trying to accomplish right now. Huh? Oh, that was a bad roll, apparently. Gersh, dang it. What? I'm running imme- I was like, we're immediately running. Tail whip. We're having a bad time. Ah! All these narrow misses are going to go drive me insane. Tail. Tail. Yep. One of those tails hitting me just kills me on the spot, basically, too. Which is nasty. Oh, here we go again. Uh-oh. Yep. In the face. Ah! It's like he baits me. It's like, you want to hit me in the face? And his, his face rears back to taunt me. I can't hit his face! No, his arm is in the way! Ah! Wait, what's he doing right now? Okay, that's fine. Hey, come here. Hey, you. Come here. Friend? Friend. Yes, friend. No. Bad. Why don't you want friend? Yeah. Yep. Hitting your shin. I am lacking all the regret. Uh, uh, running. I'm curious to see what percentage of my damage turns out to be tail damage over the course of all these attempts. Ha! Huh? No, no, no! No, 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 no! That's not the run button! Ooh! S signals crossed. Uh-oh. Her. Alright, half a waypoint achieved. That's pretty good for now. Huh? Yeah. God, this fight is so not that hard, aside from the goddamn freaking energy magic thing that happens. That just ruins me. So if I could figure out where to stand to make him never do that, that'd be great news. Tail him! Face slash. <laughs> it's marginally effective. <laughs> okay. And so goes our pattern. The dance we dance. It's the dance we dance. It's a terrible sentence. Hello, my honey. Hello, my darling. Oh my. Okay. Thought I was gonna get hit. In the I thought I was gonna take a bad hit. Oops. Is that- that's the bad news, isn't it? Oh, that's the other bad news. I thought it was the other- I thought he was going to do the shoe magic at me, but no. Uh-oh. Oh, that's bad news. Okay. Bad news. Look at me, miss. I'll teach you how to- Dougie. Come here. Huh? Haha, hit your foot. Revenge-o. Come here. Oh, okay, we're doing that again, huh? 
I just want to stab you in the face. Yeah. 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 Two. Two in a row. Is he rearing up? Yar. Yar he goes. Yar he goes. It's the dumbest thing I've ever said. Huh. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> We're following a pattern, you and me. Doing the same thing over and again. Just don't do the magic, please. Oh, look, it's the magic, isn't it? No, it's an explosion of doom! That's better, though. It's not better, really. It's not really better. Oh, it's a bad thing. That's one of the bad things. There's like a lot of bad things, to it, so we're clear. Fuck off, world. Haha. -ha. That was. Wow. Spears of the Church, Dar Soul of Dark Eater Meteor. Da 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 <laughs> That wasn't so bad. He was supposed to be a tough fight? He's fine. He's fine. I, there's, there's multiple harder bosses in Dark Souls 3. Uh, well, one of them's DLC. I would say Freed uh, is harder. And I would say that... I don't know if I'd say Cinder is harder or, or easier, but I would say that the King is, is harder. Or crap. Listen, it's been a while since we played the first game. Almost exactly a year, actually. So, you know, I mean... The, the high, the hard guy, nameless dude, nameless king, nameless god, nameless thingamajigger of stuff. Okay, listen, there's a lot of names, and he's nameless, so it's, hard, it's, it's even harder to remember because you don't even have a real name. Haha. <laughs> okay, I am very relieved that he is dead. <laughs> His reputation preceded him. So let's meet our intro. Oh, you're dead. Ah. Oh. Wow. I thought we'd ch check in on the character who sent us here, because that usually has payback of some kind. Or payoff, I mean. Uh, she dead. She drops old woman's ashes. So the first person we met here is dead. The person who uh, guided us all the way through is dead. Uh, most NPCs we've met are dead, more or less, aren't they? And now there's a- now there's an angel. Huh. At that point, the question is whether the angel killed her or came from her, because those things were all over the place, and now we have one associated with her death. That's interesting. Now I'm just curious what the hell's under the turtle shell thing, all the more. I'll try to see if I can follow up on the character who sent me here in the first place, but she didn't want to talk to me. I went to her door and she doesn't respond anymore, so I may have to do some research on how to proceed there. Because I've beaten everything? So now it's time to go full spoilers and figure out how to proceed, as far as things that I haven't figured out yet. Shrine had- yeah. Umberlash, the old stone-humped woman. With this, the shrine had made will prepare new items. Things have dreadfully run their course. A, a, cure, a crew at the... Uh, oh, things that have dreadfully run their course. A crew at the great dreg heap. This old woman was once the wet nurse of royalty. She was... Was she the, pr the twin princes? Was she the wet nurse of the twin princes, I wonder? Or someone else? There's a lot of wet nurses. <laughs> for all we, we can just go full Bloodborne for all we know. Alright, I'll try giving it to the, to the old lady, but it's hard to tell which items are new sometimes, so I might not be able to spot them. Ah, well. Gracious, passing fine ash and awfully almost as if it didn't... Oh, I'm sure... And, uh, it's, there, it's the exact same dialogue she always gave. Okay. Ring of Sacrifice, Life Ring, Volnia. Ooh. Ordained hood sounds new. An ordained dress? I could be wrong, but that all sounds new. The ordained set? Oh, Frida. Whoops. So you get that from killing Frida. See, Garba Frida, sister of the painted world, common black hood. After renouncing everything, Frida discovered a 
people that she wished to protect and assumed the precise form they were they yearned for. Oh. Manipulation. An offer of protection implies the eventual wielding of a blade and spilling of blood, as Frida learned during the establishment of the Sable Church. As the that Xantho said, Gundir, exile. Smo executioner. Millwood, that's also from the old place. Canvas talisman. That can almost be new. Nothing's noteworthy about it, though, so I don't think so. Ooh, split leaf greatsword. That could be new. I really wish there was like a some sort of indication of what stuff just just got added, but it's hard to say. It's just a weapon, though. There's not much to go on. It has a it has an overhead uh, spinning attack. Any consumables that stand out? Is that new? The refined gems? Eh. Ooh, I'll take all of those. Hey. Every, every, you always gotta remember that every one of these usually gives you a set of uh, embers. Those are always welcome. Add those to the pile. Eh. Some trip, some trick to the wiki, the wiki will provide the information as to what the heck was exactly added by that. Besides maybe just the embers. Soul of Dark Eater Midir. Midir, descendant of arch dragons, was raised by the gods and... Owing to his immortality, was given a duty to eternally battle the dark. A duty that he would never forget, even after the gods perished. Oh. So raised by the gods to fight the dark, and then the gods perished, and he just kept going and going. Kept fighting the dark until he himself was consumed by the abyss. And it's noteworthy, because if you look at this place... Let's go back to that boss chamber real quick. It looks really familiar, because it looks like the fr No! Not where I meant to go. I, I think of him as the final boss, because he was my final boss, so I clicked on the final slot without thinking, and it's clearly not this place. Oh, this place is obviously... Th th this has to be the dust storm that those pilgrims are going through in the original CG trailer that we first got. That has to be it, right? Which, by the way, when <laughs> before I realized I was looking at a Dark Souls 3 trailer, when I first saw the pilgrims walking along all hunchbacked and stuff, I was like, is that a Dark Crystal video game? Because they look like the good, the, the good faction from Dark Crystal with their hunchbacks and everything like that. Yeah, this place with its, its incredibly gargantuan cavern, I, my first thought originally was like, oh yeah, it's like a, you know... Just looks like this, our our whole place is built on a nightmare sinkhole situation, and this entire kingdom is going to collapse. But now I look at it, this like like this is such a huge and almost infinite looking cavern in every direction that it looks like the intro cutscene where it talks about the pygmies capturing the dark soul of man and stuff like that in the very very first game, or whatever the hell the exact word usage was at the time. Like you see this huge underground cavern, which at the time looked more fiery than blue. But it's a very specific visual that seems like it may be a reasonable conclusion. Look at that. Um, another Moonlight variant. Old Moonlight Sorcery. Conceive Old Moonlight Sword and Attack. A memory of an old sword found deep within Midir. This sorcery uses souls to grant form to the thought and attack with it. Attacks are coupled with light waves, and sustaining the stance before attacking increases their speed and potency. The sword is named after Moonlight, but it is slightly different than the one fashioned by the Pale Drake Seath. Perhaps it is rooted in an older memory, from not long after the beginning. Oh. So it's specifically not the Moonlight Greatsword that's already in Dark Souls. That's... that's fitting enough, because of course From Software has specific things that they use in basically every single game they ever make, no matter what it is. Uh, that... People, we, people grew to think were Dark Souls references over time, but actually are references to much older games, and they've just kept them around forever. Uh, and big cases of those are like... It's, it's like the equivalent of like a, like naming a character Sid in every Final Fantasy game, for example. Uh, since like the beginning, all the way back in like Kingsfield and various other older games, like there's almost always been a, char uh, a, a Moonlight Greatsword or a Moonlight Sword of some kind. There's almost always like a, a character named Patches and there's white sticky stuff and a bunch of other little minor things like that. The Frayed Blade. 
physical and dark. Scales with dexterity. Very high dexterity requirement. It's gotta be a katana. Oh yeah, it's a katana. A dragon weapon symbolizing Dark Eater Midir. The once exquisite blade is now stained black and frayed at the hilt. Without its sheath, it will soon crumble into nothing. Its skill is hold. Assume a holding stance in which a normal attack sends a shockwave along the earth and a strong attack commences a series of slashes. I don't have the full set, but I've got a few pieces of it. These, uh, the antiquated plain garb. Ordinary garb from an ancient land of sorcery. The gold embellishments betray a faint residue of magic, but this clothing was never intended for battle. When a, mis when a mission visited the Ringed City long ago, one of its younger missionaries elected to stay behind. It was he who became the last recorded spear of the church. Oops. Yet they served... Yet they served well enough in, a, in many a battle and... Oh. These arm wrappings... Let me see the top one staying the same. These arm wrappings, sewn with violet cloth and embroidered with gold thread, were intended for everyday use, yet they served well enough in many a battle in wreathing the arms of one who would go on to embrace the sword. Oh. It almost looks like I'm wearing clothes because the default, like, you're naked pants actually fit with the, uh, with the robes. Look like some kind of miser. So you're supposed to be able to resurrect the PvP boss via here, which I guess is why she won't talk to me, because he's dead. So reinstate the king's decree. Whoa! Dude, why does it cost so many souls? J okay. That's not gonna do it, is it? Oh my goodness, that's garbage. Ugh, I've gotta farm souls. I just leveled up. God damn it. That's not nice. Why do that? I just wanna get the dialogue. I don't even care about the boss. All right, souls farmed, take two. Reinstate the King's Decree. Once uh, Judicator Argo is revived, one will face Spear of the Church upon entry of the Church of Filianor. Are you sure you want to restate? Yes. I'm good. He's revived and will summon the uh, Spear of the Church to face trespassers. So you can keep reviving that boss forever, basically, for the cost of souls. Which is an interesting touch because it means that you that it helps it helps uh, make it possible for that uh, PvP scene to be a little more lively in the long term because people can do it again without starting the entire playthrough over. It's essentially the equivalent of having uh, the ability the ability to level up the bonfires, like like in a uh, like in Dark Souls 2 where you could level up your bonfires in order to make them. Uh, in order to make certain encounters reappear and stuff like that, but then it was like basically cycling that area into New Game Plus. You're gonna make me fight you, aren't you? Gersh, dang it, I'm just trying to have a nice, polite conversation with some people. And you're just really getting in the way of that, you know? Gosh darn it. Really can't just let me have this, huh? I beat the whole DLC, just want to have one nice conversation, I already paid 50 grand for it, and you're like, no, more hoops, more hoops to jump through. Cause that's just how we roll. Yuck! Could not see very well, but more or less intuited what was happening. Oh, you want some, huh? Fine. Feel like I didn't kill enough of you when I was farming souls a second ago. There we go. Like, let's just get you in for good measure while we're at it, huh? Yay! Let's do everyone a murder. A nice, good, hard murder. Right where it hurts. Ah! Ah! Stop that. I'm gonna have full health. So I'm gonna approach her in my proper form. Please don't aggro on me. Please don't aggro on me. No aggro. Turn around. I'm waiting for you to turn around before I Dang it! Okay, good. She won't talk to- Mmm. Mmm. How'd the scripting work here? Do I have to- Crap, do I have to bonfire and come back? How about now? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. So it would appear that I screwed the, the, the entire quest line because I guess you're supposed to go back to her like it. 
really strange times. Not super strange, it does involve inter interacting with the dragon, but I guess you're supposed to kill the dra You're supposed to knock the dragon off the cliff, then go back to her, and stuff like that. And if you don't do that, like, in a lot of, in a lot of different side quests, uh... There are, like, certain moments where you can just check in with somebody, but it doesn't actually affect their progression. But for her, if you don't talk to her, like, in that specific moment, back at where she was, she just disappears. But there is something else over here. I think it's over here. There's supposed to be something out here besides the bond, the actual uh, boss fight, basically. Is it down here? Oh yeah, look at this. Hi. Oh. Uh, that's an interesting little setup there. Beware of dark spirit. Hello. Is it time for the fifth boss fight? <laughs> I've searched for thee, dark, stricken creature. I am Shira, daughter of the Duke, descendant of gods, and trusted friend to Medea. At once, I am the honor of the gods, the glory of fire, and the fear of the dark. Thou shalt not go unpunished for thy treachery, thy profanity, and thy shameless yearning. So she's using the new magic you get from this, this expansion. Huh? Ah! My life's pain. Oh, there's the heal. Alright. Yeah. Ow, bad roll. Exceptionally bad roll. Yeah. What the heck? Does she keep changing the timing of that attack? Or what? I swear she's changing the timing, but I could be wrong. Yeah, she is. What? Okay, that throws me off. I'm used to attack animations having specific durations. That throws me off bad. Bad news for you. Crucifix of the Mad King. Tide Knight Slab. Okay, so you still get, so if you don't complete her quest chain, you still get the Titanite slab that way. There you go. There's so many bonus Titanite slab locations to know about for each playthrough now. Holy crap! She gave me Crucifix of the Mad King, a cross spear hung with a malformed corpse. Once a Mad King was born to the pygmy royalty, and Shira, Knight of Philenor, put him to rest. Shira's cross spear, unable to kill the undying king, only pinned itself to him. Shira delivered them together to a dark room, where she stayed and held them close. The skill is Mad King's Folly. Slam malformed corpse into the ground to briefly awaken it, then fillet with strong attack to trigger a roar, a blessing, or a vexation. Oh cool, just whatever the heck it feels like. Sounds like good news. Oh, I can't even equip it. Interesting. Oh, I wait. Oh. Never mind. I just wasn't in the right menu. Look at you. I get a good, good angle on you at all? Nope. It's like a crazy skull. It looks like something you'd see from Doom. <laughs> that straight up looks like a Doom style weapon, or actually even almost like Shadows of the Damned. Rar. It's two handed. Yep, the usual halberd move set, which always seems kind of awkward. Wee. Oh, did I do that? The answer's no. That thing over there was not me. Does it move? Yeah, you can see the uh, little the hand lets go and the whole thing moves around a bit. That's creepy. Does it have a visible mouth? Uh, it does, but it doesn't have a jaw, so that's not moving. It does have tentacles, which is creepy. I don't think the rest moves, it's just the, uh, the entire arm comes, like, comes off the staff and has to readjust itself, which is really creepy. Well, that's a neat weapon design. And with that, I think we finished the, uh, Dark Souls ringed, uh, ringed, uh, ringed city? Is that what it's called? 
The ring, the, the, the last Dark Souls 3 DLC, it's fine. I think it's called The Ring City. Alright. Thanks for watching, like always. I guess this concludes at long last our Dark Souls 3 playthrough. With like an 80 part main playthrough and then like these two little expansions which had a number of things worth commenting on. Uh, I also, I also did a uh, New Game Plus Sorcery playthrough of the f main game in the first DLC, so when the time when I have an opening in my schedule, I'll definitely get around to playing this DLC with that sorcery character. And uh, I'm planning on sitting up, sitting outside a lot of time to finally crank through the remainder of our uh, our co-op playthrough that I, I need to uh, need to edit. Man, that takes a long time. But I'm gonna finish it, damn it. And uh, I'll be here for any future from software games that come out in this vein, if that ever happens again. And uh, at some point in the future, I'm sure I'll inevitably come back to replay Souls games again. In particular, I would like to finally do a run-through of, of Demon Souls and Dark Souls, because uh, my only playthroughs of those are from significantly uh, before I was ever particularly good at these games. So I'd love to revisit them when I, fi when I find the chance. Either way, guys, uh, thanks for watching like always, and uh, if you haven't, check out my playthroughs of, you know, Dark Souls, Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 2, Skull of the First Sin, Dark Souls 3, Bloodborne, and Demon Souls. You know, if you feel like it. I'm gonna go take a break. See you later.